Tonight, we're partying with the locals, so I'll be seeing Koreatown in a light that I've never seen before. You know, like, if you see Koreans eating in a Korean restaurant, you know that's gonna be real Korean food. You know that's gonna be authentic. Amazing. Amazing. Night out in K-Town, guys. New York's Koreatown is located on 32nd Street between 5th and 6th Avenues. Although it's pretty much just one block of Manhattan, the energy that streams through here makes it feel like K-Town is its very own city. With restaurants, bars, and karaoke lounges stacked on top of each other, just out of view from the street, it seems like there are endless options of places to go. There's so much to explore here in terms of eating and drinking. I'm super excited to meet some local legends who are taking me to their favorite spots. Koreans go out in rounds so to different stages of their night. It starts with pre-gaming at home or someone's house, and then dinner, and then karaoke, and then the club, and then some kind of food activity afterwards. It always ends in food. There are so many barbecue options when it comes to Koreatown, but there is one that stands tall above the rest, Kang Ho Dom Baek Jong. The Seoul-based chain, whose owner is a Korean comedian and former wrestler, has only three U.S. locations. So here we are. We're just waiting for Pablo, who's apparently the king of Koreatown himself. This is melon makgeolli. You want to drink? Melon what? Yeah, yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, it's like it. a melon Makan. bar flavor mixed with uh, this Korean drink called makgeolli. So it's kind of like a... Um, it was like an ice cream. It was kind of like oh ice God. cream. Yeah, it's like ice cream. So ice I cream learned bar. one thing in Korean. Gambai. 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 Okay, maybe I did it. <laughs> I like Down, it. Down, it's so, so yeah. you don't like It's like wait. melon candy. After already indulging in two kinds of Korean liquor as soon as we walked through the door, it was time for the main event, the barbecue. Dookie Hong, who has trained under chefs like David Chang and Jean Georges, is keeping with Korean tradition by serving the classics but taking the whole experience to the next level. The galbi, which is marinated for 72 hours in a fruit juice concoction, actually made me cry tears of joy. I appreciate it, thank you. You're making me, you're making me cry, stop. <laughs> this is crazy. definitely the best galbi I've ever had. The barbecue here is insanely tasty. The quality of the meat and the attention to detail is what really makes the food that much better. With a constant line around the corner from when it opens to 6 a.m., Koreans and people from all over the world are coming here to try the lavish menu and lively service. Kind of what we're also known for is called a toshirak or lunch box. We have roasted kimchi, fish cake, and feta rice, and we shake it up for you. I like to consider myself a bit of an expert when it comes to Korean barbecue. And I personally feel like they serve some of the best barbecue in Manhattan, and maybe even outside of Korea. We actually eat tea, like, for pleasure. Papa, where have you been all my life? This is how I feel. From the bonchon to the pork jowl, boneless short rib, and steak tartare, this is truly one of the best Korean barbecue experiences I've ever had. When the final piece of meat was grilled and the last drop of soju poured, we obviously had no other choice but to move on to the most treasured Korean pastime, karaoke. I love to sing, so you're gonna see tonight. I'm a big singer and rapper, and uh, sometimes I think I'm a, yeah, I'm a... like the biggest mic hog in the world, basically. <laughs> Ready for round two? What's your karaoke style? Old school rap. Yeah? I'm all about the hip hop. This is one of the spots. This one of the spots. This one of many spots. So this one, in the main room, they have a stage and they have a microphone. So you could public. perform you could perform to the public or you could be in your private room. Yes, let's go and pick a song. The first song I ever sung or heard in my life when I came to America was I Need a Girl by P. Diddy. <laughs> that was the first song. <laughs> part, part one or part two? Oh. Part one or part two? Part one, part one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Karaoke is pretty much my all-time favorite activity. It's even better when you're doing it with people that are as enthusiastic about it as you are. <laughs> Round 
What round is this? Round what? Three. Three. Three for you four. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, so where are we going now? Costa. The hundreds of bottle caps that line the ceiling alongside cute messages tied to the nets makes Poja 32 a totally magical little gem. I'm definitely going to be coming back here. This is yogurt soju. I love yogurt Yo? soju. Yo? Okay, there you go. Yogurt soju tastes like a boozy form of the Japanese drink kalpis. Sweet and strong. <laughs> so we're going to do all the alcohol tonight. This is called 100 years of pain. I'm just <laughs> it's, it's makkali. That's the drink that we talk about. Night out in Cape Town, guys. So I ordered a watermelon soju for us. The watermelon soju is fruity, boozy deliciousness at its best, but should be enjoyed in moderation because it packs a punch. Yo, I'm not drinking that shit, man. Tell me a little bit about what we're eating here. So my understanding is that, you know, this is puri jjigae. It's a Korean dish. But how it originated is that there's an American army base in Itaewon, which is a city in Korea. They basically had all these foods for the soldiers, including spam, hot dogs, stuff like that. They took this Korean dish that's called kimchi jjigae, added the elements from this American soldier base, and th that became puri jjigae. Look at the melted cheese. So there's like ramen, tofu, Wait. hot dogs, cheese, shiitake. Oh, it's so delicious right here. The stew of my dreams. Oh my God, are so good. Kimchi Alfredo, but we're like 50 ingredients. After so many rounds of delights, each round special in its very own way, it was a twist on traditional kimchi chige with all its cheesiness that truly captured my heart. With such good company, it was the perfect end to the perfect night out in Koreatown. So we just wrapped up at Pocha 32 where we had delicious late night snacks, Round three. Oh, oh, which is oh. round three. Pacquiao Mayweather. Yeah. So now we're heading to the next round, round next four. Round. She, she passed the initiation and she's part of the family. Yeah. I have a flight to catch tomorrow morning to, to London. Hopefully she won't but make it. Hopefully she won't make it. I'm trying to live this YOLO lifestyle right yeah. now. <laughs> up to the club. Bye. Bye. I'm going home.